think I might be out of my mind. I think that you're the one. My last made me feel like I would never try again. But when I saw you, I felt something I never felt. Come closer, I'll give you all my love. If you treat me right, baby, I'll give you everything. My last made me feel like I would never try again. But when I saw you, I felt something I never felt. Come closer. The number one hit music station, Q1075, Laddie, Lucky, and Hope in the Morning. And it's a beautiful morning, too. 63, mostly cloudy, getting up to 76, 712. All morning long, we are discussing what is the scariest movie of all time, and our chat is going crazy, guys. Yeah, thanks for chiming in with that. Uh, you can call us, too. Or you can even come in on Zoom and show us your scary movie poster. Just, uh, <laughs> send us an email, zoom at q1075.com, and we'll send you a link right back. Yeah, we've got some good ones up there. But also, right now, we want to talk about what's the first thing you notice about somebody? Yeah, uh, I got this thing that I, I definitely notice uh, when I'm meeting a girl for the first time. And this is something she can change. She can change it pretty easily. The eyebrows. The, I, the eyebrows are so important. They're so they're so important. If they're getting so, do you like like the the skinny eyebrows? Like what what about the, yeah the, the eyebrows? bushy eyebrows, the unibrow? Uh, you know, I, 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 I do I do have a, a big place in my heart for unibrows out there. <laughs> so, nice. But uh, who was the iconic image that had the unibrow? Frida. Uh, she was uh, she was an iconic figure. She had a unibrow. But no, I think that uh. I, no, not not thin. I, I don't like them to be too thin. And you know the painted one, the painted ones that that are on the face. That, those are cool too. But but I prefer the real hair right. on the eyebrows, just trimmed up. You know, just nice and neat. But but now they have a lot of women tattoo their eyebrows on. Isn't that right, Hope? Oh, that's yeah. Because okay, so the trend used to be skinny eyebrows, and eyebrows don't grow back like normal hair like it's hard to grow them back so i mean sometimes you have to fill them in i fill my eyebrows in i haven't this morning but Ooh, you fill know them in. I, I get what you're saying with like the painted on like you don't want yeah. too much i like natural you're more of a natural right yeah, put a guard on it i mean the, the bushy eyebrows i mean you know all right at least we have more to work with so we can trim it down so it's better to have too much than not enough but yeah eyebrows are captivating it really just Balances out the eyes and the face, and uh, yeah, eyebrows are where it's at. That's the first thing I notice. Well, see, when, when the first thing I notice is, well, there's well three things, but number one is the eyes, too. Yeah. You know, I, I like somebody's eyes. If I can look into your eyes and have a good conversation with that, I mean, that's why my girlfriend, she's got beautiful eyes. But also hands. I look at hands, too, which is so weird. But, like, hands can tell a lot about somebody. You can tell about someone's fingernails if they keep them up, if they have good hygiene. And I, I like women who wear accessories some, you know, so maybe like a watch or like a ring Rings. or whatever. Right, and you can kind of see what style people have, too, if they like more gold or silver or whatever. And they can kind of tell about their personality, you know? And, uh... Go ahead. Tell well, hard don't worker. be judging the girls with the not so pretty nails right now because we have been social distancing in <laughs> Oh, right, right. That's right. what he's, so that's what he's getting at. Let it slide for a second. Oh, no, yeah, right, right. You can slide now. Like I said, <laughs> and my girlfriend, she always has pretty nails. She always has her nails done. She's always wearing a nice watch. She changes out her watch band to accessorize with what she's got. So you can tell a lot about someone's hands, about who they are as a person. And also, the third one is uh, hair. Hair, hair, hair. I, I, I love. I, I love beautiful hair on women. I really do. Like long hair? I do. Well, I don't know. I, I like short hair, too. I really do. I think if you can rock the style and it, sh and, and it fits your persona and who you are as a person, that's cool, too. Because I've known girls, and I've actually dated girls who have had real short hair, and they kind of spike it up, you know? But also, they have that swag to go with that. If you can do all that, then it's like, wow. And, and you got to admit, too, when, when it, if a woman with shorter hair walks into a room and it's kind of like funky or punk rock looking... You're getting noticed off the bat, you know, immediately. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, the confidence, their body language, how they approach the other people. 
What about you, though? 375-1075. What's the first thing you notice on somebody? Yo, it's Billie Eilish. This is Post Malone. Hey, guys, it's Selena Gomez. Number one hit music station. Custom designed for Memphis. I can't write one song that's not about you. Can't drink without thinking about you. Is it too late to tell you that everything means nothing if I can't have you? I'm in Toronto and I got this view, but I might as well be in a hotel room. Yeah, it doesn't matter cause I'm so consumed, spending all my nights reading texts from you. Oh, I'm good at keeping my distance, I know that you're the feeling I'm missing. You know that I hate to admit it, but everything nothing if I can't have you. I can't write one song that's not about you. Can't drink without thinking about you. Is it too late to tell you that everything means nothing if I can't have you? I can't write one song that's not about you. I'm so sorry that my timing's off But I can't move on if we're still gonna talk Is it wrong for me to not want half? I want all of you, all the strings attached Oh, I'm good at keeping my distance I know that you're the feeling I'm missing You know that I hate to admit it But everything means nothing if I can't have you It's not a Forget you, but I hold on. Everything is nothing. Everything is nothing, babe. I'm trying to move on. Forget you, but I hold on. Everything means nothing if I can't have you. No, I can't write one song that's not about you. Can't drink without thinking about you. Is it too late to tell you that everything means nothing if I can't have you? The number one hit music station, Q1075, Laddie, Lucky, and Hope in the Morning. It's 63 right now, right now, but it's getting up to 76. Uh, mostly cloudy skies, 719 in Memphis. Coming up at 735, it is Ask the Q. If you have any questions or if you need some advice, you can email us at asktheq at q1075.com. But right now, we want to know, what's the first thing you notice about someone? Hey, Q, who's this? Hi, it's Amber. Amber, what's the first thing you notice when you meet somebody? I notice their teeth. Yes. Teeth? She said teeth? Yeah, we didn't mention that. Yeah, teeth. What? I feel like you can tell a lot about a person if they're straight, you know, the color they are, like if they're whiter, like, you know, if they have good hygiene. But if I'm talking to someone that has some messed up teeth, all I stare at is their mouth when they talk to me. <laughs> right, right. You, you know, it's interesting we didn't mention that. Have you seen that billboard where the guy has no eyebrows, but he's got a gap or he's missing his front tooth? And it's like, hey, that's the first thing you notice are the teeth. You didn't even notice. Yes. You didn't have. You saw that? Yes, they're like, you don't even notice he has eyebrows. I was like, I didn't. <laughs> it's like that dude didn't have eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> that billboard's off 40. I know exactly what you're talking yeah, right. about. <laughs> I almost <laughs> ran off the road looking at that thing. No, uh, that's a great one, Amber. Yeah, thank you so much for the call. Appreciate that. You're welcome. Have a great day. Have a great one. Dude, that's so funny because that's what my girlfriend notices is, is teeth as well. And uh, a lot of people notice different things 
I wonder, I wonder if somebody like would notice about the uh, the bank account. What's your bank account? <laughs> uh, three seven five one zero seven five. What's the first thing you notice on somebody? Hey Q, who's this? Matt. What's up, Matt? What's going on? What's the first thing you notice on somebody, Matt? The lips. Uh, oh. Like the way they smile or the way they bite their lips or something like that. Oh, the the lip bite. Are are you a fan of that? Like the bite. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, that's a good one. Hey, Matt, you know yeah. what? Matt, you're not wrong on this because I've kind of been noticing that a little bit more because a lot more people are getting lip injections and lip fillers. And, like, you can kind of notice is, okay. Oh, no, no. I don't want none of that. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like, dude, it looks like someone punched you in the mouth. Like, well, why is your lips so big? It depends on the job, though. I mean, you could you could have it done. If you got super, super thin lips, you might say, maybe we need to put a little something in there. Right. Maybe. No, I'm, maybe. A, I'm, a, I'm an all natural guy. Natural guy. Al natural, huh? <laughs> but now a woman can tell you everything that you need to know with the eyes and lips without ever saying a word. Just like the look. Just pay attention. She, she's going to tell you what she wants. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matt. All right. That's a great one. Hey, Hope, Hope, what about that? The lips, is that a, is that a big thing for you? Do you notice lips on a guy? Not really. No? That doesn't really matter to me. You, you notice no. if he's tucking them in, though, and you can't see him, then you're like, where, where are those lips at? <laughs> Let me get a look. <laughs> Three, seven, five, one, seven, five. What's the first thing you notice about someone? Q1075 is taking your playlist. Slide into our DM. At Q1075. Hey, it's Dua Lipa. This is Adam Levine of Maroon 5. I'm not Horn. The number one hit music station. Number one hit music station Q1075, Laddie, Lucky, and Hope in the Morning.
Hey, good morning, Laddie. It's a very nice day. It's a 63, mostly cloudy in Memphis, getting up to 76, 725. And I'm pretty pumped about this. Tomorrow, Thursdays at 730 to 8 o'clock, we're going to have Lawyer Bill on the show, and he's going to be giving you that legal advice that you desperately need. Yeah, anything you want to know, uh, he can touch on it. Yeah, you can give us a call, 375-1075. I've got a lot of questions. So, Lawyer Bill, you better be ready, my friend. Can, can I build, like, a doghouse in my front yard? <laughs> He's going to let you know all that stuff. He, seriously, he knows he knows everything. Yeah, that's and awesome. here's the coolest part about oh. this guy. Uh, he's he's re- he's uh, registered to do law in Mississippi and in Tennessee. Perfect. What'd you say, Hope? I wonder if he can help me get out of this ticket I have. Well, he knows what you got to say. Right. Um, <laughs> or, or, or not say. <laughs> Hope's just looking for the hookup. Hey, man, I just did some bad stuff. Can you be my lawyer? <laughs> yeah, he can, That's great. He can make I need help. Happen. Yeah, he can make it happen. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Uh, 375-1075, all morning long here on the Q Morning Show. I, I'm going to try watching some scary movies, right? So we need your help by letting us know, what is the scariest movie of ever, ever, of all time? Yeah, thanks for chiming in with that. We got yeah. all kinds of great suggestions. Hearing a lot of about the exorcist i've seen it in a classic you know i don't know you know the girl's head spins around at some point hope did you see the exorcist yeah that wasn't too scary to me it was just True. like creepy you know yeah see here's my problem about some of the scary movie stuff like if it's way fictional like that like the head spinning around and her that's i know that's not real i know that's fake so ah. i don't i don't get into that kind of stuff you know have you seen have you you've, you saw it though i yeah. saw it i saw it yeah i don't know i heard that type of stuff ha- I, the but head like spinning paranormal yeah, I get that. activity see that's what i'm talking about that can be scary I don't know. Yes. Uh, what about what and about, that can like make me not sleep for days. See, yeah. I, I, I get you on that. That kind of scary. As I'm like, oh, okay, I'm kind of scary because I don't know if that's real or not. Whatever, but because it could happen. Uh, I don't right. know. I don't know when a dude has knives for fingers. That's pretty scary to me. Like a uh, Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. That's a scary, scary dude. He gets in your dreams. This guy, Freddy right. Krueger. All right, here, get scared real quick. Welcome to my nightmare. I. Eternal. Get out of here, Freddy Krueger. Get out of here with that. That's scary. The dude's eternal. Dude, okay, now I've seen that. Is that the one where... Go ahead, Hope. She's scared just even talking about it. It's Is scary. that the one where he uh, reaches through the bed and, like, grabs her? Yeah, that's one of those. Yeah, they, they did a whole bunch of Yeah, not stories. about that life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's scary the... Dude. Okay, here's, here's... This is a true story here, Hope. Johnny Depp's first movie was Nightmare on Elm Street, the very first one of them, right? And, uh, of course, he dies in that movie. He gets killed. That that was his first movie ever. And I saw that back when it came out, and I was like, all right. And then I'm like, "Uh, it's not too scary because it's not real. Robert England plays a great Freddy Krueger, but it's like, uh, whatever. It's not real. You can't go to sleep and have something come out and kill you. I'm over that. That, That's probably true. That's probably true. Actually, you know what? Uh, Freddy did so so much messed up stuff. I do have a scene of Freddy getting beat up. So can we play that real quick? Sure, yeah. Just to even the playing field here. With kids today, huh? No respect. You can't scare me anymore. Oh, you better speak up. Must be my death here. <laughs> Get him! Get him! I will mess you up, Freddy. What's up? Yeah, Freddy didn't See, come back. See, that scares me because you can't even like jump on your bed and ha- like not have to worry about it. He can like come through. Right, right. Hope you talked about this earlier too. You talked about the movie Jaws, right? No. Well, you, you, you said, it's, well, whatever. We were talking about movies, and you said Jaws is a scary Oh, movie. oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't say that. that yeah, you said it. I heard Dude, it. see, that's what I'm talking about. That's scary, because I love going to the ocean, yeah. and there could be a great white, and they're wanting to rip my leg off. That's scary, because it could yeah. actually happen. It could happen. 375, and 107. That's five. why I don't go, like... Yeah, no, that's a good, one, good point. Hey, 375, 1075... Uh, yeah, what, what's the best scary movie of all time? Keeping you entertained during the coronavirus pandemic. Play us on your smart speaker. Crank it up. Just say, Alexa, play Q1075.
foundation, they did a great job raising you. When I create, you're my muse. The kind of smile that makes the news. Can't nobody throw shade on your name in these streets. Triple threat, you a boss, you a bank, you a beast. You make it easy to choose. You got a mean touch, you can't refuse. No, I can't refuse it. Picture perfect, you don't need no filter. Go just make them drop dead, you a killer. Shower you with all my attention. Yeah, these are my only intentions. Stay in the kitchen cooking up, catch your own bread. Heart full of equity or an asset. Make sure that you don't need no mentions. Yeah, these are my only intentions. Already passed, you don't need no approval. Good everywhere, don't worry about no refusal. Second and none, you got the upper hand now. Don't need a sponsor, no, you're the brand now. You're my rock, my Colorado. Got that ring, just like Toronto. Love you now, a little more tomorrow. That's how I feel. Act like you know that you are. It's your perfect, you don't need no filter. Go just make them drop dead, you a killer. Shower you with all my attention. Yeah, these are my only intentions. Stay in the kitchen cooking up, catch your own bread. Whip it hard full of equity or an asset. Make sure that you don't need no mentions. Yeah, these are my only intentions. No cap, no pretending. You don't need mentions. Got them saying goals, they don't want to be independent. Tell them to mind your business. We in our feelings. It's 50 50 percentage. Attention, we need commitment. We got to both admit it. And we both listen It's a blessing Cause we both get it You the best thing And I don't need a witness I'ma find me a ring And pray it's perfect fit it Perfect Picture perfect You don't need no filter So just make them drop dead You a killer Shower you with all my attention I will Yeah, these are my only intentions Stay in the kitchen cooking up Catch your own bread Hey, it's Lucky from the Q Morning Show. Let me tell you about Field Sun Apartment Homes, 3333 Hacks Cross in Memphis. It's the largest apartment home community in the state of Tennessee. And right now they're running an amazing special on their one bedrooms with garages and huge patios. At Field Sun, they've got the right apartment for your situation. With all the upgrades, elegant finishes, recessed lighting with satellite single or double garages. They've even got EV parking car smart charging stations. And Fieldstone has valet trash service and a rentable mini Malco theater. Fieldstone is beautiful, picturesque, gated community, 24-hour security with fountains, a car wash, two dog parks with a dedicated small paws and large paws area. And Fieldstone has four pools with the biggest pool in town, an 80,000-gallon swimming pool with sun deck, cabana, fountain, grill, and a cozy fireplace. Call and schedule your tour today, 901-752-0032. That's 901-752-0032. FieldstoneMemphis.com. I'm Dr. George Flynn with an update on the skin clinics and COVID-19. We continue to be open for elective medical procedures such as Botox, Scarlet, and Agnes. And we thank you for abiding by our new safety protocols and for your patience with longer than average times for appointments. We're still having reduced appointment times for the safety of our clients and staff. At this time, after consulting with outside medical experts also and following the community guidelines, we believe it best to wait to offer aesthetic services such as brow shaping, waxing, and facials. We look forward 
forward to offering these services as soon as possible. The Skin Clinics is currently accepting names for a waiting list that we will use to fill appointment times when we can begin offering these services and these procedures. Call us at 345-7546, that's 345-SKIN, to book your medical procedure or to get on the waiting list for aesthetic treatments. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you soon. I've always wanted to learn another language, so I decided to give Babbel a try, and I really like the teaching method of the app. I started with the beginner lesson on Babbel, and soon you're putting words into a conversation. Each lesson takes about 10 to 15 minutes, and they're all really different, which keeps things interesting. I can't wait to use my Spanish skills in real life. Dos cervezas, por favor. (laughs) Now try Babbel free. Just go to Babbel.com or download the Babbel app. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. M-Town traffic update. Roadways look pretty good. Just watch out for this paving work. Construction's really slowing some things down. Only the left lane is open. That's EB I-40, I-55. That's West Memphis East between I-55 North Split, exit 277, and I-55 South Split, exit 279 uh, B. On top of that, be well aware that there is still long-term road construction. Highway 78 between Shelby Drive and the Tennessee-Mississippi state line. Brown and Matt traffic anytime. Download the Q1075 app. And coming up in three minutes, it is Ask the Q. Looks like Brandy's co-worker might be a thief. She don't wait in lines if it's too long She don't drive the whip unless the roof fall Only want the car when the cash out Only take the pick when the house out She from Malibu, Malibu If you ain't got a foreign then she laugh at you Malibu, Malibu Spending daddy's money with an attitude Roxanne, Roxanne, Roxanne All she wanna do is party all night She think I'm a asshole. She think I'm a player. She keep running back though. Only cause I pay her. Roxanne, Roxanne, Roxanne. All she wanna do is party all night. In LA, yeah. Got no brakes, yeah. Living fast, Ricky Bobby shaking bait, yeah. See the chain, yeah. It's a late, yeah. Swipe the chase, ooh. Now she wanna date, yeah. Trading no boo on the coast, ooh. Shorty only like coke. Yeah, snapping all up on the grand man, going crazy. Now she want to fuck me in the foreign, going A. Hey. I'm from Malibu, Malibu. If you ain't got a foreign, then she laughs at you. Malibu, Malibu. Spending daddy's money with an attitude. Roxanne, Roxanne. All she want to do is party all night. All day, Roxanne. Never gonna love me, but it's all right. She think I'm a The number one hit music station, Q1075, Laddie, Lucky, and Hope in the Morning. Hey, good morning, Laddie. It's, uh, you know, if you want to be technical, which I think we all do, it's 63 in Memphis. We're getting up to 76. It's cloudy, 739. All morning long, we've been talking about what's the scariest movie of all time. You can chime in at 375-1075, or you can hit us up on the Q1075 chat. Because scary movies are scary, man. I'm going to start trying to watch some, but I want to watch the scariest one and see if like it lives up to the hype. Why would you want to do that, man? you got to start small. I know, but like some of them I've seen before. I'm kind of with hope, like the paranormal ones. like That might be the kind of stuff that I really, really like. You know, like the fake Hollywood stuff. Not really my bag, baby. Well, we got some great, great suggestions. Keep them coming on the Q1075 stream. Appreciate that. But right now, it is Ask the Q. If you have a question or if you need some advice, you can email us at askthequ at q1075.com. This one says, Dear Q, my new coworker keeps stealing my lunch. Well, at least I think he does. 
every day I bring in my lunch. And as soon as the new guy got hired, I started noticing that some of my lunch is gone missing. One day it's a piece of fruit that's missing. Then another day it may be a sandwich that's missing. Now look, I'm not a hundred percent positive it's him, but it has never happened until he started to work with us. I haven't confronted him about this issue, but I don't know what to do. Now, I don't want to accuse someone of stealing, but I mean, where there's smoke, there's fire. Please help. And that's from Brandy, 28 years old. Whoa, you, you got to you gotta hate that. Look, I, I understand that, you know, it is convenient that since he started working here, the food has gone missing. But hang on one second. That could be an opportunity for someone to swoop in and go, hold up. We got a new guy here. Maybe this is my opportunity to start stealing some lunches. Because Lord knows I get very hungry around this time of day. We got a new scapegoat that just walked into the, our establishment. This is my time to shine. You know, so someone really could do that. I mean, look, I don't want to say that I did that in the past. Tried to blame somebody. I'm not saying that. I didn't say that, but it's possible. For sure. Or she could have been packing like more healthy snacks or uh, fattening snacks that someone's like, okay, she's packing some some better options. I might just uh, sneak in there and blame the other guy. That's it could, pretty good. I never thought of that. Just setting setting it up to somebody else. You stealing it and blaming it on the new guy and being like, I don't know, that new guy's weird. I think he took my cheese whiz. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to blame the new guy and make him feel uncomfortable, especially if it's not him. He might not be doing it. I, I do love that he's only taking pieces of the lunch, right? And he's not like biting into stuff. So, <laughs> so this thief has at least got some class. You know? Yeah, um, Brandy, uh, all I'm saying is tuna fish. Everyone hates tuna fish. No one go. likes it. It smells. It's going to smell up the entire refrigerator at the work. Do that and see if he likes that. Just put that all over the place. Um, but no, <laughs> if, if, you know, it, it might be that guy. He may be going in there and stealing stuff. Maybe he's got, maybe a, I don't know what it maybe. I don't know. I, I just think that you would need to probably have proof yes i mean you got to check a camera or something you got to maybe ask it if it keeps happening maybe go up to your boss and ask them what they think look. i'm sure they have cameras in the office too right yeah they, they might they might not though look, look at harley uh, chiming in on the q1075 stream uh there's a way to put luminol on stuff that makes your hands glow when the backlight is or excuse me when the black light is on so you can catch Ooh, him red-handed, sneaky. shine the, uh, the the light on him, so you see if he's got the stuff on his hands. Yeah, I mean, it would work, re- it would work great if they worked at CSI, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, actually, you know, I got, I, got your, I got your solution right here. Put, put like a padlock on your, get you a lunchbox with a little sash. <laughs> no, he's not going to cut it open, you know, and put you a combination lock on it, and you're safe, or get tuna fish. Yeah, but that's so that. sad you have to do that to protect your own food, you know? I mean, come on. But they're stealing it. What are you going to do? That's true. I don't know. Put a lock on it. Uh, put a lock on it, like, like a bicycle it. chain lock That's, on it. Yes, on your paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, not. Well, you can paper. get a lunchbox with a lock on it. Actually, there you go, Stephen McStilly. You're not stealing my stuff today. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any advice or if you need a, have a question you need to be answered, you can email us at AskTheQ at Q1075.com. Q1075 is taking your playlist. Slide into our DM. At Q1075. Hey, guys, it's Halsey. What's up? It's Sean Mendez. Hey, this is Taylor Swift. Hello, it's Lush Capaldi here. Hey, it's Lizzo, and you're listening to Q1075 Memphis.
my chest, my breath right quick. He ain't never seen it in a dress like this. Uh, he ain't never even been impressed like this. Probably why I got him quiet on the set like zip. Like it, love it, need it, bad. Take it, own it, steal it, fast. The boy stop playing, grab my ass. Why you acting like you shy? Shut it, save it, keep it, push it. Why you beating, run the bush and knowing you want all this woman? Never not get to you try. in Hollywood, don't worry. The Q lives for it. E on the Q. I mean, I know you're going to have to say his name, Hope. I know you're going to have to say his name. Can we just call him J instead of like J, J A Y? <laughs> okay, so he's not that bad, laddie. You're oh, no, he's reacting. Oh, no, he's horrible. No, he's horrible. But Kristen Cavallari isn't just saying goodbye to Jay Cutler, but she's also saying goodbye to her show, Very Cavallari. Um, so the former Hill star made the announcement on Tuesday saying she's not going to continue shooting the show and wanted to thank her fans for all the support. You know, season three just wrapped a couple of months ago. But I think with everything going on in her life and all of the changes, it's just too much for her right now. Well, she's kind of busy, too. Doesn't she have a lot of stores? Uh, some that she has just like opened three up? stores, one in Chicago, one in Nashville and one in L.A. Jay's horrible. Jay is garbage. Look at that. He ruined the Chicago Bears. He ruined. And now he ruined one of my favorite shows. He ruined her show. He ruined my Wednesday. I mean, I I don't. (laughs) Thanks, Jay. C. Cut. But I I do have some good news. Joaquin Phoenix and Rooney Mara are expecting their first child together. Woo! Congratulations. The two started dating in 2017 after they they met working on a film. The, her, I believe it was, in 2013 and got engaged last year. And now they're expecting a little baby. Yay! So precious. So congrats. And Jason Derulo chipped his teeth. Jason on, Derulo! <laughs> on a TikTok challenge. Have you guys seen this? Yeah, was that the corn? Yes. <laughs> okay, so he's been doing a lot of TikTok challenges. So I'm not sure if this is actually like a, a true video or he kind of edited it or whatever but they're kind of getting insane i mean all of his tiktok challenges they're just pranks and um if he did chip his teeth sorry i hope everything gets back and your dentist is open and not social distancing as well yeah he can make it happen right they're gonna be calling them Jason the Toothless. <laughs> toothless. <laughs> and our boy Shep Rose, laddie. Yeah. Southern Charm Star. He is officially off the market. So congrats to him as well. I, I like Shep. I think he's he's cool. They had a show. What was it called? Like Finding Shep Love or something? And it was No Relationship. Oh, relationship. Ah. Where they're trying to find this guy is a train wreck. He's like 30 years old, Buku's of money, and he's just a big screw up. So they're trying he's to 40. Oh, okay. He's 40 and he's a big screw up. Wow. <laughs> he's kind of like me. And um, but the best part is that like 
hanging out with the guy, he's a lot of fun. You just don't know if you're going to wake up with a hangover or wake up in prison. You just don't know hanging out with this guy. (laughs) Exactly. I don't think he's had one job in his entire life. (laughs) He doesn't need one. And that's E on the Q. Q1075. Hey, everybody. It's Michael from 5 Seconds of Summer here. Um, I know that these are some real testing times right now, to say the least, but it is just so important that we all come together and we're here for each other right now. We should all make sure that we're staying informed of what's going on, be aware of other people around us, and hopefully the music that we're making is keeping you guys company. Um, Everyone needs to stay safe, stay responsible, take care. We love you guys. See ya. I've always wanted to learn another language, so I decided to give Babbel a try, and I really like the teaching method of the app. I started with the beginner lesson on Babbel, and soon you're putting words into a conversation. Each lesson takes about 10 to 15 minutes, and they're all really different, which keeps things interesting. I can't wait to use my Spanish skills in real life. Dos cervezas, por favor. (laughs) Now try Babbel free. Just go to babbel.com or download the Babbel app. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Hi folks, Bob Burkheimer for Sunrise Buick GMC Truck. A lot has happened overnight and just wanted to let you know we're open at Sunrise for all your automotive needs. Service, body shop, parts, and sales. Go online to sunrisememphis.com to schedule an appointment. Should you need a vehicle, we're offering 0% up to 84 months with deferred payments up to 120 days. You can shop online, we'll bring the car or truck to you. At Sunrise, we know you want to feel safe, so bring your car or truck to any Sunrise location and we'll disinfect it at no charge. Sunrise, stress-free and safe. Covington Pike, Wolf Chase, and Collierville. M-Town Traffic Update. Roadways look pretty good. Uh, we are slowing down considerably, though, due to the construction. Uh, the left lane is open. I'm talking about the construction. EBI 40, I-55, that's West Memphis uh, East, between I-55 North Split, exit 277, and I-55 South Split, exit 279B. Uh, watch out for that. Slowing some things down considerably that way. And long-term road construction, it's not fast either. Austin P. Highway at Yale Road. Front of man traffic anytime. Download the Q1075 app. And coming up in just a few minutes, we want to know, is it okay to lie to your partner? Q1075 on your smart speakers at home. While you're practicing social distancing, stay informed. Stream Q1075. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your There's a time that I remember When I did not know no pain When I believed in forever And everything would stay the same now my heart feel like December When somebody say your name Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gonna be alright Gonna raise a glass and say yeah. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not Cause the dreams bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the dreams bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your Memories bring back, memories bring back your there's a time that I remember When I never felt so lost And I felt all of the hatred Was too powerful to stop oh, yeah. And my heart feel like an ember And it's lighting up the dark I'll carry these torches for ya And you know I'll never drop Yeah Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gonna be alright Raise a glass and say, hey. Cheers to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones that we lost on the way. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories. And the memories bring back, memories bring back your. Yeah, 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 yeah
The number one hit music station, Q1075, Laddie, Lucky, and Hope in the Morning. Good morning, Laddie. 63 in Memphis. 76 is our high today. Uh, cloudy skies right now getting up to, uh, well, it's 756. We're getting up to 76. Coming up at 8 o'clock, we want to know, is it okay to lie to your partner? We know Hope be lying all the time to everybody. Never! <laughs> Surprise birthday party I think you can get away with. Right? Surprise I mean, birthday party. There's, a re- there, there's maybe reasons small, like little white lies you're allowed to tell. Is that right, Hope? Absolutely. I totally agree with that. We'll get into that at 8 o'clock. But uh, something really cool is happening this Friday night here at Q1075. Our boy Zach Sang. Zach Sang in the house. What's he up to? He's got a prom from home. This is really cool. He's got a whole bunch of different artists. They're going to be performing under the living room lights in your own house. Oh, man. Live performances. Now, this is really cool. The lineup pretty is, is, is really straight, but he's got, like, dude, AJR. They're going to be performing. Oh, sweet. Louis Capaldi, Monsta X, Asher Angel, and many, many more. And that's going to be going on at Q175 uh, starting at 7 o'clock at Q175. Man, isn't that just like Zach saying to do something nice like that? So it's going to be a graduation you can tune in for. Uh, when is that? 7 o'clock? Uh, you say tomorrow? Yeah, it's like a prom from home. Yeah, uh, uh, Friday. Friday. So get your prom dress on, get your makeup done, and go to the living room and tune in. Yeah, it's going to be really neat. Or go outside where you have enough room to throw it. You know, you want to make sure you can toss that hat. Well, I mean, now you're now because of the social distancing stuff, you might be able to have 10 or more 10 or people over at your house. You can maybe bring your friends over. You can dress up, go in your backyard, have some balloons like you were saying, Hope, right? Yeah, absolutely. Make it a party. Confetti. Dude. A social distancing party. And you can also even hook up. Yeah, that's cool. You can even put up your computer, hook it up to your TV, and then maybe have like the show going on there in the living room. Party in the living room. It's going to be a good time. Friday, 7, Zach Sang making it happen. I'm super excited about that. Hey, you think if I can get invited, can I wear a tuxedo shirt? Yes, you must. You must wear Absolutely. a tuxedo shirt. Or paint a tuxedo on. That's even better. I need a painter right now. 375-1075. Hi, <laughs> this is Harry Styles. This is Camila Cabello. Hey, I'm Ed Sheeran. The number one hit music station. Q1075. Q1075. Memphis.
sunshine. Good morning. Good morning. This is the world famous WHBQ. FM. Germantown, Memphis. Time to wake up. It's the Q Morning Show on Q1075. Good morning, Memphis. Good morning, Lucky. Good morning, Hope. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Laddie. 64 and cloudy in Memphis, getting up to 76. Sun's coming out around 8 p.m., though. Uh, 8.02. It happens all the time, but coming up in three minutes, we want to know at 375-1075, is it okay to lie to your partner? But right now, we're going to take you back in time with the cue this date at 8. The date was May 20th, and on this year, President George Bush was in office. The number one movie in the box office was was The Incredible Hulk, and not the crappy one. It was actually the really good one with Edward Norton. (laughs) And if you're a big reader, you were probably reading The Downhill Lie by Carl Hasen. No, I did not read that. And the number one song on this date, May 20th, was by Leona Lewis, Bleeding Love, and the year was 2008. So twice was enough and it was all in vain Time starts to pass before you know it you're frozen But something happened for the very first time with you My heart melted to the ground, found something true And everyone's looking round thinking I'm going Close. 